Embrace the digital transformation. Welcome to the Digital Academy for Building Cloud-Based Solutions, presented by Women in Cloud. The world has changed and it has embraced cloud-based technology in a big way. These solutions have become commonplace partners in our daily lives, both at home and at the office. Whether it's streaming Netflix on the couch or accessing your hottest leads via Salesforce in the field. With this digital transformation comes a change in the way that businesses operate. Data, once difficult to collect and costly to get right, is now readily available via social networks, viewing habits, search intent, and more. According to a study by Keystone Strategy, by 2025, there will be more than 163 billion gigabytes of user data available for use. Let that sink in for just a moment. 163 billion gigabytes. That means that developing and growing a solution for a niche audience is no longer a stretch of the imagination. In fact, that same study estimates by the end of 2020, we will be seeing more than 1 million new devices, whether smart home or cell phone, come online every hour. That shift is driving the cost of hardware down to where Amazon is able to give out Alexa devices for free and Google partners with similar providers to give out their smart home assistants. This shift in society means that we also need to prepare for a new wave of threats. Cyber attacks affect nearly 32% of all businesses and cloud-based solutions are particularly susceptible. Nearly 80% of employees report using non-approved tech in the office to get the job done. That means that IT departments either don't have the solutions available to offer those employees or the solutions available are failing to get the job done. With the digital world creeping more and more into our daily lives during lockdowns and quarantine orders, the opportunity to launch a new solution and test its effectiveness is now. There are typically three models of cloud-based solutions to compare, software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. Each of these has its own benefits as well as downfalls, and it is necessary to understand the differences to best choose the model for your organization. Cloud infrastructure services, known as infrastructure as a service, are made of highly scalable and automated compute resources. This is a fully self-service model for accessing and monitoring computers, networking, storage, and other services. IAAS allows businesses to purchase resources on demand and as needed instead of having to buy the hardware outright. IAAS delivers infrastructure such as the servers, network, operating systems, and storage necessary to run your business. The catch is that all of these services are offered virtually. Cloud services are typically provided to the organization through a dashboard or an API giving IAAS clients complete control over the entire infrastructure. IAAS provides the same technologies and capabilities as a traditional data center without having to physically maintain or manage all of it. Unlike SAAS or PAAS, IAAS allows you to manage aspects such as applications, runtime, OSs, middleware, and data. However, providers of the IAAS manage the servers, hard drives, networking, virtualization, and storage. Some providers even offer more services beyond the virtualization layer, such as databases or message queuing. Think of a company like Rackspace for a great example. Cloud platform services, known as platform as a service, provide components to certain software while being used mainly for applications. PAAS delivers a framework for developers that they can build upon and use to create customized applications. All servers, storage, and networking can be managed by the enterprise or a third-party provider, while the developers can maintain management of the applications. The delivery model of PAAS is similar to SAAS, except instead of delivering the software over the internet, PAAS provides a platform for software creation. This platform is delivered via the web, giving developers the freedom to concentrate on building the software without having to worry about operating systems, software updates, storage, or infrastructure. Think of a solution such as 
Windows Azure, and you can see the potential advantages to this type of solution. Finally, there is Software as a Service, the most commonly utilized option for businesses in the cloud market. SaaS utilizes the internet to deliver applications which are managed by a third-party vendor to its users. A majority of SaaS applications run directly through your web browser, which means they do not require any downloads or installations on the client side. There are a ton of great examples of SaaS companies in the marketplace, but Dropbox is one that comes to mind as a market leader. Also, Speaker Engage, designed for event planners to remove chaos from event planning and execution. Once you've selected the best choice for your business model, you will need to develop a sales strategy. When searching for any solution, customers are seeking true innovation. By focusing on what your customers need most, you will be able to build a relationship with your users that leads into a sale. When you've closed the relationship sale, you will move into the known stack stage with your customers, which is when you'll be able to fine tune your solution based on user feedback and other signals. This process will help to create a best in class tool that maintains subscribers and reduces churn. The stability of any solution over time results in a positive business growth. That means once you have put in the effort of closing the sale and developing the solution, you should start to see a level of growth that can self-sustain and increase month over month. So unless you're choosing to develop an IaaS business, you'll need to develop a cloud stack or hosting provider such as Azure or Google Web Services. To decide which provider is right for you, consider the following. Do they have computing power needed to run your application? Can you scale storage up and down if necessary? Does it connect with the applications that you utilize for sales and marketing? What data can be housed? Is it possible AI or Internet of Things solutions with this provider? What security features are standard and additionally offered? Are there any developer services to help build your application faster? These questions should help guide you in choosing the right provider for your solution. Let's take a look at what Microsoft Azure offers as an example. From virtual machines to aid rapid deployment to the storage options offered to businesses of all sizes and even all the way to user-facing storefronts, Azure makes it simple for a business to choose the package that suits their needs best. As you look at the full cloud stack you hope to employ, keep in mind the cost associated with services you choose to outsource. Looking at the over 200 options that Azure has available, you could quickly rack up a bill that would reduce your MRR overnight. Compare Azure to AWS or Google and you will see a similar model. Once you've selected your preferred partner, you'll need to decide on a revenue model. While previously companies spent millions on acquiring users for a one-time purchase, there has recently been a shift to subscription-based services. These subscription services allow businesses to create recurring lines of revenue at a lower introduction rate. This tactic has proven so successful that we are starting to see subscriptions creep into automotive sales, cosmetics, technology, and more. Installment plans and membership options make your products more readily available to a wide audience and ensure that you will maintain your sales growth. Although subscriptions sound appealing, be cautious of a high churn rate as there are only so many customers that you can burn through early on in development. We hope that this session has provided you with the knowledge, skills, and confidence to begin researching your idea and creating a roadmap to bring it to life.